Okay, so we are going to see how to run our own application in a fly machine. Now, first, a little cleanup. I want to do fly status uh, dash a for the app we just created. Now, this fly status command is actually for the launch platform, the apps platform. Uh, so this is going to say, hey, we found machines running in this app, but they aren't managed by flyctl. So you should use the fly and list command, right? Fly and list dash a, and we'll see we have just one machine in this app, right? And it's listed out here. This is the machine ID and its name, the IPv6. We have some other data around the size of this and the region, all that good stuff. Um, I could also do fly m status dash a radom. And notice I didn't do fly m list, right? This is the status command. And it's going to say, hey, these are all the machines in this app. Which one do you actually want to see the status for? There's only a single machine in this case, right? But we can see it started and in the region Boston. And if I hit enter, it's going to show the status for this specific machine. This is great, but we don't need this machine anymore. So I'm going to do fly m remove and force because we're forcing the destruction of a virtual machine that's running. Otherwise, I would need to do fly m stop first. And let me see the ID of this machine is here. So we can copy and paste that down here and get rid of this machine. OK, that's been destroyed. Let's go ahead and see a little Golang application here. This app does not listen on the web for anything. So it's just going to be running on a machine that doesn't need any IP addresses allocated to it. It doesn't need any public access, right? So it's just going to print some lines and then exit, right? The simplest thing you could think of. I have a Docker file related to this um, Golang app, right? It's going to build it in one build step, right? It's just going to run the go build command. And then it's going to put that into a, uh, you know, this distro list container here. And it's just going to run the command that it created, that it copied over from the builder step. So how do we use this uh, Docker file and this Go app to run on a machine on fly? We can head back over to the terminal here. We're in the same directory that has the Go app. I can do uh, Docker build. Now, where you run your Docker builds uh, could be almost anywhere, anywhere that has Docker. I'm on a Mac. This Mac is still an Intel-based Mac. If I had a M1 or M2 Mac, uh, my Docker build command here would build an ARM64 architecture Docker image, which would not work on the Fly platform because it's Intel-based only. So we could run Docker somewhere else for that, uh, like the builder that is provided to you by Fly automatically. Uh, and in fact, we can see that in action here. But I'm going to build this locally first. Then we can see how we can use Fly's remote builder uh, to do that uh, for us later if you need to. So let's do Docker build. I'm going to give this a tag. The tag is actually going to be registry.fly.io. And um, Radom is the name of the app. So I need to name this in the na Radom namespace. And I can call it latest or uh, v1. I can do some, any tag I want, right? I'll just do v1 for this case. And a period to tell us to build this Docker image from the current directory. Now, I used the tag, the name of this Docker image of registry.fly.io so that I could upload this to the registry for the app Radom immediately here, right? I could do that um, from my local computer. This way, um, I can just run fly and run. And when I set the image, I'll just do the image I just created, right? Fly reg uh, registry.fly.io Radom v1. Uh, so I just created this image. This Docker image exists locally for me. So I can do Docker push. This and um, I might need to otherwise run a fly auth Docker, I believe. And that'll log into Docker for you if you need to, but I don't need to in my case. I've already done that before, I think. So I can do Docker push and the registry.fly.io slash radom with the v1 tag. That should push up to fly.io for us, and it is. And then I can reference that image when I do my fly run command. Great. So we can do fly m run uh, dash a radom. I don't need any of this port stuff at all. The region Boston is just fine. Um, so let's get rid of all this stuff I don't need. And then instead of nginx latest, we're going to say use the Docker image I just pushed up to registry.fly.io slash radom colon v1. All right. So it's searching for the image that, that we just said. I'd not repeat it again. And um, the image was found. So it's going to be able to use that and spin up this uh, image this virtual machine, this machine really quickly. So no health checks are found. That's great. Let's just go ahead and run it. I'm going to do fly logs dash a radom. And we should see um, it's running. Now, the output is a little hard to see, but it's just right here, right? These are the three log output lines we uh, used. And then it just exits. And in this case, it actually starts the machine back up. Now, we saw from that log output that it was actually restarting a few times. So one thing I could do is run the same command. And I could say restart no. And I could even use the remove flag. So this will automatically destroy the machine once that machine finishes running its process. All right, so this is spinning up another machine, right? I have two now. 
that machine it just created is this. So let's do fly logs dash a radom dash i. I can do this specific instance. And we'll see that it has uh, started, it ran, it stopped, and the machine is actually no longer going to exist afterwards because I use that dash dash rm flag and that'll destroy the machine when it stops running. The actual output of the process is way up here and that's it. So let's do fly m status dash a radom. It's only gonna list one machine, right? Because the second machine um, that we just ran got removed and destroyed already automatically for us. And just to clean this up, let's do fly m remove force uh, this machine right here. So our app no longer has any machines in it. 